Hello everyone, this is Nitin Mohod and we are going to see active and passive transducers today. First of all, active transducers are the transducers which requires no auxiliary or secondary power to obtain output and therefore they are also called as self-generating type transducers. Some of the parameters like velocity, acceleration, temperature, light intensity and force can be transduced with active transducers. Here one arrangement is shown where the crystal oscillator is there which is sandwiched between two metallic electrodes and the crystal oscillator is fastened to the base. This is actually the rocket floor you can consider which is accelerating in this direction and some constant mass is placed on this sandwich. Now, Consider a piezoelectric crystal for the measurement of acceleration. As I have told you that this is a piezoelectric crystal. Piezoelectric is a material like quartz or tourmaline or rochelle salt. And they exhibit some property that when some force is applied to them, they produce the equivalent output voltage across it. Here, the crystal is sandwiched between two metallic electrodes. An entire sandwich is fastened, fastened means attached to the base, it may be a floor of rocket. And a fixed mass is placed on the top of the sandwich. Piezoelectric crystal produces output voltage. This is its property and it produces output voltage on application of force to it. Here the mass exerts force, this mass which is placed here when this accelerate when this total uh, rocket when this rocket accelerates in this direction in the upward direction at that time the mass will exert force on this crystal and this crystal since it is a piezoelectric crystal it exhibits the property that when the force is exerts on it the when this mass exerts force on it due to acceleration the output voltage is generated across it but as we know the formula F is equal to M into A that is force is equal to mass into acceleration and here in this case this mass is fixed or constant therefore we can transform this formula into F is proportional to A that is force is proportional to acceleration. This transducer is called as accelerometer since it converts acceleration to output voltage. It requires no external power source and therefore it is called as an active transducer means it is not depending on the source. Then we are coming on to passive transducers. Passive means those transducers which will require external power to work. It may include resistive transducers, inductive transducers and capacitive transducers which derives actually the power required for transduction from the auxiliary or secondary power source. As you can see in the figure, here this is the figure which is drawn is actually a rheostat or pot you can say. But this is more correct we can say it's a rheostat because here the sliding wiper moves in a linear way. VI is the input voltage which is applied across the fixed terminals and fixed terminals of the resistance or potentiometer resistance having a total resistance of RT and total length equal to L. This RI is the moment of sliding wiper. RI is the sliding wiper's moment means RI is actually the value of resistance and this is the value of resistance from this point to this point. Total resistance is RT from here to here out of which RI is the resistance from this point to this point across which we are going to see the output voltage V0. Now this is called pot that is potentiometer is a transducer used for measurement of displacement and is powered by the voltage source as you can see VI is applied across the fixed point of it. Let VI be the input voltage source and LB the total length of the potentiometer resistance with total resistance of RT. Slider displacement is RI 
therefore output voltage v0 will be equal to the total current flowing in from this resistance multiplied by the resistance across which we want the output voltage that is ri now the total current which is flowing here in this loop is total voltage vi divided by total resistance rt therefore the current will be vi upon rt multiplied by the resistance ri will be equal to v0 so v0 is equal to vi upon rt that is the current total current multiplied by resistance and as you know from the ohms law v is equal to ir so this is i and this is r so you will get output voltage equal to vi is upon rt multiplied by ri hence by adjusting this equation we can get ri is equal to v0 multiplied by rt divided by vi in absence of external power source which is vi here this transducer cannot work and therefore it's called as a passive transducer i hope the active and passive transducers are clear to you thank you